Okay guys, so we're making some gluten-free sausage and but what I did do is go into my backyard and I'm sure you guys have seen this. This is violet leaves. The wild, the small little violets that you find in your garden. If you ever see those little purple flowers, I think I made a video to show you there's either blue or purple flowers. And this is what the leaves look like. If you actually cook the leaves, they're very high in vitamin A and C, and they taste like spinach. I wouldn't cook the stem because the stem is very fibrous. I mean, you could, but to chew this is really not very pleasant. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wash these. I also picked, sorry, some young uh, beet shoots. I planted beets right in a pot and they just keep bringing up beautiful beet shoots that I can either throw in a salad or I can just throw in a pan. And there was a little bit of chicory uh, growing so there you go. I picked a couple of those and I am going to do a little, just a little steam, steam frying, not even frying, just a little bit of water and a drop of oil in a pan with some garlic and my daughter's going to have this next to her delicious gluten-free sausage. So you can actually pick some of these greens right out of your garden. If you see them, they're not weeds. Do not try and dest destroy them. They're actually so beneficiary for you and loaded in vitamins. Vitamins that your body love and crave for and just will flourish ingesting some of these wild greens that cost you really nothing. All you have to do is go pick them out of the garden. So this is what they look like beautiful and I'm just going to give these a quick wash and then I'm going to slowly just to steam them in a pan and that's what she's going to have either she could put this on top of her sausage or she could have it on the side so I'm going to quickly wash these and I'm going to show you what they look like once they've been cooked okay here we go now like I said um these are just wild uh, violets that you find either on your lawn or you find it somewhere like a patch somewhere in the backyard, front yard, wherever it is. But if you do come across these beautiful violets, I'm going to try and put a little picture of the violet again for you. Don't disturb them. They're fantastic, fantastic to eat. Now the stems, when they're a little bigger, the stems are not edible. So I'm just going to pinch them back and we're just going to do the leaves for her. And they taste just like spinach. Now the younger ones, they say you can use the stem, but I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to do the leaves. And they're wet. That's okay too, because that'll help put some of that moisture that we want into the, uh, to the dish. So they kind of steam almost. Now the, uh, the beet greens, I'm just going to leave them whole. I'm not going to take off the stems on those because the stems are going to be delicious. But these are a little fibrous, so I'm not going to bother the violet stems. And the, those beautiful purple flowers, those are actually um, edible where you can, if you have people coming over, this is chicory. I'm just going to break that in half. Um, those violets that you find with this plant, uh, you could actually take those violets and you can uh, actually eat them. You could throw them in salads. Not only do they make a nice presentation, I'm sure you've seen some of my dishes where I'm also going to put the flower. This has got more vitamins than the plant itself. So I am going to put the flower in. And this is all free food, guys. Didn't cost me a penny to pick this up. And uh, like I was saying, the violets, I'm sure you've seen some of my dishes where I actually put those uh, violets as a presentation, but they're also very edible, along with the marigolds, those are edible, there's nasturgeon, those are edible, uh, pansies, believe it or not, you can actually eat those, I've made cheese with my pansies in the summer, so if you're planting some pansies out there, Fantastic. You can actually put them in your food. So it's not going to be a big dish, but we don't want to overcook these either. We want them that they're still nice and green and not over 
you don't want to make them mushy and they're just as healthy as spinach now these will just go back into the compost which is fantastic okay here we go we're going to put just a little bit of garlic We're going to take a garlic clove. We're not going to crush it. We're going to kind of make little thin slices. And that's how simple this is. You can put a little bit of chili if you want some heat. Or you can put a little bit of black pepper. And it goes great next to any dish you make. Now, I would say you can eat these raw. When they're delicate and very young, yes, you could throw them in salads. But when they, they got a little big, I would say just cook them. But when they're young, you could actually pick some and put them straight into your salad. There we go. Okay. Onto the burner. A little bit of water. Not much. they don't take long cover a few more times this way and that dish is going to be ready so I'll show you what it looks like once I fight my dish For more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to Connie's Rawsome Kitchen, give it a thumbs up, and share it with your friends.